we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Jewel. Just Jewel. Not funny, Jewel. This will be our second to last episode. You want that knife you just plunged in my back? Nah, it's on layaway. Oh. Oh, not our second to last episode. It's just our second to last on new knives. I'm sure your heart was racing oh. a little. We'll be doing the best of 22 videos and our top 10 favorites for the next several weeks. So just giving you guys a heads up. Yep. So be on the lookout for best knives under 50. Best neck knives. Best fixed blade knives. Best folding knives. And of course, the best knives of the entire year. We can't wait for those because those are some of our favorite videos to do. All right. So on to this week's episode. We've got time for the new carries. And they won't carries. look like everybody else's. No. That's that's true. Like what? Time for new carries from brands like Boker. Sveevi. Buck. QSP. Sincut. And we. Let's get this video started right. Oh, you're raising them. <laughs> Boker Pilot Knife. His fixed blade is 10.24 inch overall with a 5.51 inch D2 blade black abrasion resistant powder coating. Blade also features hollow groove fullers on both sides. There we go. Yep. And a distinctive sawback spine. Show it to them. Yep. The black G10 handle promises a comfortable but secure grip. Looks like it to me. Yep. There's also a hollow brass rivets in the handle to cut down on the weight, but up in style. Aha. Lastly, this knife has a lanyard hole. Black custom fit Kydex sheath. And a belt clip. Look at there. Weighing only 9.24 ounces, you can pilot your way through any survival or tactical situation with the Boker Pilot Knife for just 90.36 from lionknife.com. All right. All right. Go ahead, lay it on. All right. So let me see here real quick. Let me get a good look at this sheath earlier. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I like that part and the little Boker Plus logo. Um, here's where I'm at. Kind of reminds me of a Kislar. Okay. You know, it's got that feel and weight to it. Um, it's a very nice knife. D2, Boker, 90 bucks. Sheath could be in just a teensy bit better. I mean, it's, if you want light, this is the way to go. Looks like there might be a little... Oh, huh, that's weird. I didn't hear it over there. Maybe I did it wrong. Let me try it again. Are you holding it by the handle? Or by the handle? Wow. Little, shake, shake it little sheath shimmy on this one. It's but so weird. It does have the Molly style attachment. I always like that. Put it on anything. 90 bucks D2 Boker. It's good for me. Huh. Well, this knife is big. Clearly, it's going to be able to handle any tough job you throw at it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's decently priced for the mm -hmm. quality. So I give it an A in my book. I'll go say. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Here it is. Next carry. Limited edition. We. Reaver. River. Reiver. How about that? Alright. Comes in five options. We can't ever pronounce it right, so we just go pronounce it over and over different ways. Blackout. Black bronze. Gray. Blue. And bronze. So we have the blue as if it could be any other color. <laughs> Fully deployed, this frame lock is 8.84 inches overall with a 3.97 inch CPM S35VN cleaver-like blade with flat grind. And on this model, a dual finish of black stone wash and satin. Hmm. Handle on this one is blue 6AL4B titanium with a 6AL4B titanium tip-up pocket clip. Pivot cap, recessed lanyard hole, and screws. Operating on K-Strang ball bearings. The blade on this guy is open with a gem flipper stud. Finally, it comes with pouch, cleaning cloth, stickers, Jules' personal favorite, yeah. and COA. This model is limited to mm -hmm. just 200, go ahead. 260 pieces. Look, even the box says limited edition. Wow. That's nice. <gasps> wow. wow. So the other models vary in color, blade finish, and limited edition quantities. The blue, bronze, and gray are all limited to 260 pieces, whereas the blackout and the black bronze, no are limited to 310 pieces. Yeah, you know, I think we're some of the best spontaneous wowers I have ever. And sincere, too. Wow. wow. See? Designed by Wee Knife, the Wee River. Revere. Revere. It's just 259.25 from 
at LionKnife.com. I have to say, I like the look of this knife, and of course the quality is there. However, I don't know if it's really going to catch people's eyes. I like it, but I don't know if it's the item that's going to attract the AK demographic. I mean, it's, it's mostly men, so I kind of like it. Will they? I don't know. The limited edition, of course, boosts its desirability, but I don't know. What about you, C? So, are you saying it's got too much design? Uh... I don't know. I just don't know if they're going to like it. It just seems plain, but not plain, if that makes sense. Hmm. Like, it's got some different details than I've seen, but then they do the two-tone blade, which you don't like, and I'm sure some people don't like. Mm, some people Kind of limits yeah. it. I got you. And then the... Reverse Tonta is nice. Yeah. I'm yeah, I kind of get where you're... I'm not, this one would be interesting. But 260 pieces. My yeah. guess, gone before we air. All right. That's great. Are you ready to move on? Yep. Go All ahead. Right. We're on to the next piece of gear. The Buck Mini Auto. Deploy. Wow. Snaps yeah. to attention. So there's two options for this knife. There is a Sniper Gray and a Burnt Bronze. We have the Burnt Bronze. Because Sniper Gray just didn't make any sense. So this automatic is just under 6 inches overall. The 2 inch 154 cm drop point blade. And has a gray Cerakote finish. Handle is Burnt Bronze, as previously mentioned. Aluminum. Blade is deployed with a black button and disengage with that said same black button. Comes with black tip-up tip -up pocket clip. Black pouch and a black box. That's great. Yeah. The black option has a cyber gray Cerakote aluminum handle and a red titanium pivot cap accent. So this part's red on the other one. Mm-hmm. Other than that, both are the same. Identical. Made in the USA, the Buck Mini Auto Deploy is perfect for you or a friend. For just $134.99 from AtlanticKnife.com. You won't regret it. And why is that, see? Because $134.99 for a Made in the USA buck. Auto. Auto? Oh, wow. I'm in. I'm actually thinking about getting one. Even though I'm not really a big auto carrier. But I think I might have to get one of these. Mm. All right. Mm, well, I like it. Little blade is a little short for me. I like the blade size. I do think I would have liked the handle just a little longer. It's big enough to where you get a good grip. I just would like a little longer handle. I can understand that. But everything else I like. What's next up? <sighs> next up is the Civivi... <sighs> Cinesis. Cinesis. Is that what we're going with? Cinesi? Sensei? Senses? I don't know. Sinuses. Ah, three options for this mm -hmm. guy. There is G10, Micarta, and Twill Carbon Fiber. Ooh, fancy. So, well, let, funny you should say that because that's the one we have. What? The fancy carbon fiber one. Wow, yeah. we are fancy schmancy. Yes, you, you say you get the one that looks best on camera, so obviously it has to be this one. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> now, when open, this frame lock is 8.52 inches overall with a 3.7 inch Damascus clip point bleed with black hand rep finish, flat grind, and 0 0.12 inch thickness. Uh huh. Yep, Blade is open with a gent flipper stud and operates on cage ceramic ball bearings. Back of handle is black stone wash steel, while the presentation side is tool carbon fiber overlaid on black G10. Nice. Finally, there is a tip up reverse pocket clip, pouch, cleaning cloth, and sticker. The other models feature 14C 28N steel blades with either the black stone wash or bead blast finish. As mentioned, these other two options feature either a black G10 presentation side or the burlap Macarta. Mm -hmm. Start at just $64.50 from AtlanticKnife.com. There's the ding. Okay, you can go first. I can go first? Yeah, I guess you can go first. All right. Well, I like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice, but I see what's happening here. Do you? Yes. Do you see what's happening here? Mm -hmm. Sabivi is getting a little bit longer, but it's getting a little more expensive. Mm. And, you know, like this one is available in 14C 28N for just mm -hmm. starting at 64.50. Well, you know, that would have been 50 mm -hmm. or 40 some. So that new brand is really starting to push the Sabivi up. Now it's still high quality and it's worth it. And I do like what I call the fingerprint. Ah. I don't know if all of them will be made like that. 
because the masks can be different on everyone. Mm -hmm. But this one, for instance, has it. Nice pattern. So I like the knife a lot. I would have one of these. It's good size. That's important to that's, me. That's great. Well, I like the size too. Mm -hmm. And I do appreciate that Civivi is finally taking real people's hands into consideration when making these folders. Mm -hmm. It's definitely big enough and it fits your hand perfectly. I too also like the look of the Damascus on this one. However, does it stand out from all the other knives they've done this year? Civivi and we always do like a Damascus model. Mm -hmm. Does this particular model stand out from the others? I think it does because of the, the black hand rubbed and the, the pattern of the Damascus. But is there anything new about this knife? Mm, it just seems like a mix of their other knives. Mm. And I do think that they could have went all carbon fiber on the front instead of doing the carbon fiber overlay over the G10. But whatever. I, I'm going to give it a, a B. I was going to give it a B minus, but I think I went up. Change your mind. I think I'm going B. Well, it doesn't have plus. a traditional Damascus that we all think of. Yeah, too, it's so, different. You know. We're hitting the next knife the new QSP Osprey in extra large. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell. That way, you not only get notified when AK releases new videos, but also you can automatically be entered into giveaways. Speaking of, it's time to announce the winners of the Maxed Up Giveaway. Mm -hmm. So on YouTube, see who has the stuff. The winner is... That's great. Cemetery Gates. Cemetery Gates, is that really a person's name? Absolutely. Oh, that's a YouTube. Uh, that's a YouTube name. Gotcha. YouTube name. Gotcha. And over on AK's blog. The winner of their very own maxed up prize is Mark Lippis. Thank you guys. Winners will receive the Max Ace t-shirt, hat, and either one of these knives. So you don't decide. I'm just random. Courtesy of a land knife and Max Ace. Thanks to them and mm -hmm. you guys for participating. We couldn't do without you. No way. We're also going to take this moment to give a shout out to all those who answered the Halloween <laughs> trivia question. <laughs> right? On our blog. Mm -hmm. So the question was that Lightning Knife sells only one Halloween style tin sign. What does it say? The answer was zombies eat brains. You're safe. And so congrats goes out to Jorm, Tom Weingart, Quinton, Gary Baconis, and Eddie. Thank you guys. Thank you for taking part in our sharp fun. And I know we didn't mention you win anything other than the shout out, but we decided you guys deserve something special for participating anyway. So. Oh, no. Yeah. First one to contact us will receive a specially made AK t-shirt. Signed by us if you like. So, winners, make sure to email Wendy. Sales at Atlantic Knife. To claim your prize. That goes for the maxed up winners, too. Yep. With that, we're on to the QSP Osprey Let's Extra Large. So, we've only got two options right now. But, you know, QSP, they could have 49 different options by next month. If you bet, they will. Yep, so there is black and green. We've got the green. So that's line lock is 8.4 inch overall, 3.65 inch D2 blade with stone wash finish, jipping, and it's about 0.11 thick. Handle is green marcata and sports a black backspacer with lanyard hole. Also has a tip up reversible wired pocket clip. Now that's fancy. Yep. What makes this line lock different from the QSP Osprey, other than the size, is that the blade can be deployed with. Button, yeah, we had to call it a liner lock so we could fool you. It's a button lock, guys. <sighs> Slow build. <laughs> there it is. Why well, are you going to give that epic fail? It's QSP's first button lock, guys. So the blade can be deployed traditionally with a gem flipper tab, or an extra large Osprey can fly its way like that. Yeah. Right first to you. Just doing it slow. For yeah. only $69.95. For a land knife. Dot com. Bam. All right, I like this. Of course, it's not that different from the original QSP other than the button lock feature, which is very big right now, okay? So it was a smart move on QSP's part to do a button lock on their new knife. It opens well. It's a good budget carry. It's, it's quality. It's QSP. It's good. On the other hand, I feel like another opportunity was missed to do something different. I mean, you saw what they did with the QSP Penguin. They gave you a budget D2 knife and that gorgeous denim micarta, high quality, and no one else had it. I feel like they could have done something similar this time on this one instead of just milking previous designs. Wow. 
I know. I'm being a little harsh. You're looking for a home run every time, aren't you? Uh, you know what? It's money. After, after watching it over and over, I want to see something a little different. I, I mean, I do like the button lock part. I'll give him that. You want to blow your skirt up, and it's, don't and you? it's a good size. Well, yes. You know what? Yes. My so, skirt's working is it, is it a C? A B? I'm giving it a B. B it is. Yeah. All right. I like it. It's nice. I mm -hmm. like the uh, profile. The flipper tab doesn't stick out a lot. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have even had it there. You would have just stuck with the button. Yeah, mark. I would have just done the... Wait, hold on a second. There we go. Uh, See, I, I like would have just the done the flipper. button lock. I mean, I like it, but I just don't think it's needed. True. If you I mean, it's actually pretty smooth to use it both ways. Yeah. But, you know. Button locks button, button lock. locks. Other than that, I like the little design, how the uh, lanyard hole sticks out. You cut the, the, the micarta out so you could see the lanyard hole. Mm -hmm. clearly, I thought that was kind of neat. And a nice little indent indentation there. That's nice also. Good place to hold the knife. So, with that being said, D2... You have today, that size knife, not bad. Next on the list is the Sincut Honoris. Yeah. Onoris. Onoris. Honor. Oh, is. Norris. Ho, 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 Norris. Ho, no, is. Okay. Three Great. options Black G10, Green Micarta, and Cooper Isha Wood. We've got that one. So S line of lock is 7.9 inch overall, a 3.47 inch, 9 CR18 MOV, drop point blade, stone wash finish, flat grind, about 0.12 thick, blades to play with gent flipper stud, or, going a little too fast for you there, Yeah, hold on. Okay. or the gigantic thumb slot, operating on cage giant ball bearings, handle is made of the wood we mentioned earlier. Lastly, this line of lock has a tip up reversible pocket clip, comes with pouch and cleaning cloth. Starting at only $42.50, landknife.com. The other models have different finishes, handle materials. There's even a wait for it Damascus model. <gasps> what? I've never seen that before from C, Civivi, and Wee. I believe we're doing Sin Cut right now. What's the difference? Yeah. yeah, I know. I just can't. Okay, you can go first. I can go first. Hmm. Yeah, you can. All right. There you go. Take it for so, a ride first. Go take ahead. it for a ride. Get a, open the. Very knife. smooth. There you go. 9 CR18. Well, I didn't burn a hole in my hand. Mm -hmm. um, That's great. Yeah. I'm sure it's a nice knife. It's just not for me. It's not my style. I don't like the gigantic hole cut out. Um, yeah, that 9 CR. I mean, I'm sure it's sharp. Wow, you sound a little, uh, a little I'm just, snobby there. <laughs> I am now a knife snob. Yes. That's great. It must have M390. Titanium on both sides. And be a true enthusiast flipper yep and some anodized uh, accents uh, don't get all fancy with my knife what? i'm traditional oh my god mm -hmm. okay well i'm kind of with you things will be nice well. <laughs> i'm i'm 100 i mean i like this knife but mm -hmm. it's just not it's not it's not you it's not it's not me yeah i you. think sometimes if you keep going to the same well there's no water there when you go back that one <laughs> i don't know just my mom tells me this stuff i've never been to a well Okay, so last knife, the Boker Auto. OT, better open it that way, the OTF. <laughs> so this auto comes in two options blackout and stonewashed. Mm. We have the stonewashed. Anyways, it's eight inches overall with a 3.46 inch 154 cm clip point blade with a stonewashed finish. Oh, what? Handle is CNC black aluminum with the traction pattern for enhanced safe grip. Designed in collaboration with Hogue Knives, this Auto OTF has a reversible steel clip and was manufactured in the U.S. Now I realize why I like it so much. <laughs> they made up. it with Hogue. Shut <laughs> up. Blade is deployed and disengaged with slide lock. And let me tell you what, it has two options. Cut you fool and get out of the way. This carry also comes with a zippered pouch. It's great. Get you a boker. Hogue. Auto OTF starting at just two sixteen seventy five. I see it. Okay. It's got Hogue's, Hogue's design. <laughs> Quality. Oh, that's how it's made in the USA. I got it now. All right. I'm liking this. I'm ready. Jeez. Where's the two sixteen seventy five? There you go. Distracting me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go first. I have to say, 
I like this knife. Easy to deploy, but not so easy that it's going to disengage and deploy in your pocket. Well, it's going to be disengaged, but you know what I mean. I also like the handle design. It's aesthetically pleasing and functional. It does give you a little bit of attraction. Two favorite things. I also like that they did a reversible clip. I rarely see that on auto knives. Mm. Overall, nice work, Boker and Hogue. A plus. So the lefties can be involved? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Tell you what, I do realize now why they put their logo all over the handle. See the little Boker Plus thing? Looks very similar. Mm -hmm. They have nothing else to do with it. <laughs> That's why I like it. It's awesome. Great knife. Think you should get one before they're gone. From alandknife.com. There you go. That's all you got to add? <laughs> nothing more to add. Watch. Just listen. I mean, it works just like it's supposed to work. Well, that knife needs a, a, a jingle, so we can do it to the jingle. Jingle bells. Hi. Since that was our final knife on the table this week, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you get first dibs on any new videos AK drops. You are also entered in giveaways. We're going to start a new giveaway next week, and we're going to do something a little bit different, a little easier. So make sure to watch. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Rumble, and we might... Go back to the bird. We don't know yet. You can see U.S. You can see us. You can see us. I was thinking about the bird. That's great. You can see us at a leg knife on there. Videos, photos, deals, porn, giveaways, and special events can all be found on those sites. I feel like you're doing that subliminal messaging thing again where it's like, buy knives, but with something else. We do that again? That really works. Sales were up 83% that week. Oh, were they? Knives. That's funny. Yeah. Lastly, we've got our podcast, nice. Gearing Up with AK. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that real soon. So go nice. listen on Spotify and a rabble of other podcast hosting mm -hmm. sites. And Let's now... Rabble? Rabble. Bye, Knives. That's great. Favorite knife of the week, go. Bye, Knives. Um, Dude. Mine is going to be this Boker. I had something else in mine. i got to be honest with you. The little... Uh, Buck, little buck got USA. screwed this week because nice. it was going to be the one until I realized how much I like this, this thing. Well, unfortunately, that is also my pick for this. I week. thought you were going with the jet pilot. Why would I go with the fixed plate? I would carry that over this. Oh, wow. So we have what's called a consensus. Uh huh. Wow. That's if great. we were voting, the Boker would be elected. Mm, I was is, thinking the juror. I want to take it so Defendant badly. Is not guilty. And just. Don't. Take the sign out. All That's right. her only sign. Have you noticed that everything's yeah. changed but the sign? We can only afford one binder. One binder, and it's from 83. Yeah. yeah I used to collect baseball cards in it. How did you? Okay, no. Yeah, um, with that, that 80. that's the end, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm C, and this is... Just Joel. Just Joel. Fist and we are... Back to my name. Signing off. Not Stuebush.